Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Yeah! There we go, Jeff. You know, I have never caught a tarpon in Boca Grand Pass. Did you know that? This is your first ever? First ever. This is the first time I ever fished the pass, other than Me too. around the rocks. <laughs> but I tell you what, this Makaira rod is designed for exactly what we're doing, the down and dirty, you know? And then this reel, forget about it. It's light tip so you can catch them lighter face. Yep. Of course, we're going to get one that doesn't jump. going to be mean to me. Yeah. This is one of the reasons why I never fished in here before. <laughs> this is the exact reason. Wow. Wow. He's getting it. This is not a 30-pounder you told me we were going to be catching, you liar. That ain't no baby there, Hag. No, well, that's a good one. Consider it caught. Get him up here for me. What you doing? Not one jump. Why did you let go of the leader? I just touched it so you caught him. <laughs> I wonder where it's hooked before I put any pressure on his leader. That's a nice fish, Hag. That's a good one right there. Yes, sir. But That's a good one there, Bubba. Hey, hey, hey. Need my help? Come here, baby. He's seen my hand before or something. Yeah. So that's the glow, half cold glove. The signature. Don't you wish you had a thousand dollars for every time you would grab one of those by the face? Mm. I got ripped off. Yeah, you got no jump. No jump. No jump. I got the perspiration though. <laughs> Look at that. That's the first tarpon I've ever caught in both the Grand Pass. Pass. Yeah. Find a Gorda. They're right. beautiful fish. You want me to push the boat in gear and give him a little? Huh? He's, he's ready. He's, he's nice. Ready. Yeah. He, she, whatever it may be. <laughs> hey, Bob. Oh, that was awesome. It was awesome. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. Boca Grande is just off the southern tip of Gasparilla Island State Park in Florida. And as you just witnessed, it's famous for its tarpon fishing. It's one of the deepest natural passes in Florida, reaching up to 80 feet. Fresh water from the surrounding rivers flow into the Charlotte Harbor, creating a brackish habitat for marine life to mature before moving to the Gulf of Mexico. It's kind of like a big marine nursery, and being that Boca Grande is in Florida, that means that the afternoon summer storms are inevitable, and Sirius XM weather is alerting Rick and Jeff that it's time to get to somewhere safe. Now that Captain Rick has caught his first Boca Grand Tarpon, Captain Jeff Hageman wants to introduce him to the morning session in Charlotte Harbor. As the sun rises over the state of Florida, Captain Jeff is on the lookout for rolling tarpon. At this time of the day, you can see the flashes of light as the sun reflects off their mirror-like scales. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh. Nice, nice. He's jumping. In here. 
Oh. Nice. You know, hag. <laughs> fishing braided line. It's just what a difference it's made in this kind of fishing. It's changed everything. Yeah. I really like this diamond braid a lot. <laughs> What do you put on here for a liter here? I got 50 pound mamoy? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Look right here, Hack. Right Rowan here. right there? Going left, going left. Going left? Yeah. Okay, take it. <laughs> We're at stop now. That's what's so cool too is that we can just push one button and now you're anchored. You know, the road end just Makes life so simple. Look at all the bait, thread fins. So, Hag, why do you think this part of Florida is such a tarpon mecca? I can't say enough about this fishery down here. It's, it's, it's more bait, I think, than anything. Yeah. And the, the abundance of bait, they've got everything they need here from being a little two inch tarpon all the way up to a, you know, a giant mature fish that's 60, 70 years old. You know, and the other thing I think, if you really study, oh, he just wore through the leader. Perfect, perfect. But if you study what goes on in places where I call them staging areas, no, he didn't wear through the leader. I didn't bow to him and he fell off. But if you, if you, I call it staging areas where you have fresh water. So you have the Peace River, and then you have the Calusa Hatchie down here. And the Mayaka also. And the Mayaka. So you have all this fresh water and those tarpon. I believe that a tarpon comes to places that have fresh water to get rid of sea lice from their gills that they get out in the Gulf. Maybe it's something, I'm not a biologist or a scientist, so I don't know. But I can tell you, if you look at where the big bodies of fish stage before spawns and after spawns there's a freshwater influence everywhere in the gulf yep apalachicola has apalachicola river then you have chaskawitska up there by homosassa which is where all the world record fish have been caught you know fly fishing then you have the shark river down near flamingo you know so if you really study the tarpon fishery you're gonna see that there's gonna be freshwater influence. And then you also have multiple bodies of little fish to big fish to 40 pounder, 60 on up to the monsters, you know? And that's the common denominator that all these places have. There's a river system somewhere if there's gonna be a big body of fish somewhere. There they are, right there. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rodan, set it, forget it, catch more fish. Costa sunglasses, see what's out there. Okuma, inspired fishing. And Startron, cures and prevents fuel problems. Another way to find the tarpons is by the side scan function on the Garmin. Not only can you see the clouds of bait, but you can also see the distinctive silhouettes of big tarpon. Oh my God. He just did it, oh. he did it, he did it. Oh! I got to watch him eat that one. Hag! <laughs> there awesome. we are, baby! <laughs> Who delicious with the hag delicious? Is that you? No. Nope. I'm about to have to put one of those nomads on. Yeah, man. He sucked that thing up. Three twitches and it was on. Richard Murphy the third. He's one of my favorite numbers. Whoa! Whoa! You don't like that thing in his face. Look at this, sir. Think you can see him there, bub? Look. Look at the school on the other side. Look at the giant Look. school on that. Yeah, that's Over all here. fish. You said when we left the ramp this morning, when the moon got to where it was about like that, they're gonna eat. We'll have a bite. How do you know that? That's what it does. <laughs> this fish, they love that. It gets right here. Yeah. It gets past that. It's done. You can you can uh, start looking for something else to do. 
Cheeseburger in paradise. That's yes, what we sir. do. So That's, check this out. The, the style bacon. of these captains down here is you go early, you catch a couple fish, get tired, gets hot. We're in the month of July, fishing here in Southwest Florida, Boca That's Grand really Pass cool. area, Ponta Gorda, Port Charlotte, Fort Myers North. And so what they do is they wear you out, you catch five or six fish, and then they take you in to one of the cool little historical restaurants, cheeseburgers, have chicken wings, whatever. Let the thunderstorms go by, and then you go back out and fish in the evening until dark. What happened? I thought I had him coming right here. I did too. Love that. How can you not? Love that. <clears throat> I love the sound of that diamond braid going through the guides, man. Power. Oh, God. There you go. I wore through. Yeah, we might need to jump you up so to 60. Deep. Might need to jump you to 60. He wore through the leader. This leader was, it might have been under something too, Jeff, because the leader was longer than this. This is oh, yeah. only two feet. We it have five feet of leader. Wrapped. And you can see where it's curly there. It's been rubbing on something. Look, that's might not have his, been under his mouth. It's, under his clipper. Yeah. Okay, well, we just add some 60 to this fitty. Yeah. We'll go back and get in them. We got school right here. Right. I'm put me some new mammal oil on here. Let me get, I got more, I got, I got all kinds of tingles. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Contender Boats, Always in the Game, Casa Vieja Lodge, Experience Five Star Angling in beautiful Guatemala, Soft Science Performance Fishing Footwear, Comfort that allows you to focus on your fishing, not your feet, and Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. Hey guys, Captain Rick Murphy here, and I thought it would be really cool to talk about a little 101 when it comes to propping out your boat. You know, you need to understand that whether it's a repower or buying new boats, props are changing, motors are changing all the time. So I'm gonna give you a couple things that really work and that you can really have a more educated guess when it comes to starting to make the right decisions. Now understand guys that four blade props are going to hold a tremendous amount of water and it's also going to allow you to run your jack plate like I do on my Pathfinder extremely high. What I also have to be careful of when I'm running the jack plate high is potentially overheating the motor. So keep in mind that four blades, if you need to run shallow and you're not worried about speed, that would be a good place to start. Now this turbo, this propeller, as you can see, has a much smaller hub. But as you can tell, the, the uh, blades themselves are raked way back, which has a tendency to give you a little bit more speed. This propeller also have what we, have, what we consider as wall cup. And the wall cup allows you to hold a lot of water whenever the boat is uh, being trimmed out. So you can trim the engine a lot higher. Now, the downfall about floor blade props is simple. You have more blades as you're going forward, which creates more drag on the back side of the blades and they have a tendency to be considerably slower and maybe not as efficient because you're not going as fast and you're taking a longer period of time to get there. So the three blades are the props if you wanna go fast that you might want to pick. Now keep in mind that three blades certainly are very, very fast. Big diameter propellers seem to be the way to go, whether you have a big center console uh, with triple motors. So I'm going to tell you that this is some of the key points that you might want to remember because bow lift is going to come from the wall cups that we're talking about versus rake is going to give you more speed. So you can go to either YamahaOutboards.com, they have a whole bunch of prop information there, or you can go down to your local Yamaha dealer. Hey, hey, <laughs> don't look how you wiggy worm, Hag. You better learn how to twist that thing a little I, slower. I can't even get bit by the time you get out there. This ain't about the ending, you know? it's all about the beginning. <laughs> 
Come on, Hag, get you a bite. You fished with Pfluger when you were a young guy, and that was one of his favorite sayings. It's all in how you will you wear them, buddy. <laughs> Tell you what, growing up, you know, going, staying at George Witch Place in the Keys, taking vacations there. You gonna jump? I, I hooked. I used to walk out, you know where that is? Right there on the Three Mile Bridge on the end of Long Key where George Witch Place was. Yeah. We used to rent his other condo from him. Was George Witt or George Fodies? George Fodies, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, Fodies. And, Look at this uh, I hooked 86 tarpon off that bridge. Yeah, if you don't love this, you kind of hard. I want to grab your fish. I want to cast. Nice. Ooh, he ate that one. He ate that one. Yeah, he did. Not yet. Oh. Got him good? Got him good. I'm going in. There. Hey! You don't know what we're doing here. That is absolutely beautiful. Yep. All right, put him back. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, man. I don't, you know, they don't have to be that 200 pound fish. To... That's absolutely gorgeous. Right. Hey. I love a mini sign. Almost said it a second ago. If you don't know what we're doing here, we're catching tarpons on lures. Right? Oh. Ain't much better. Yeah. Kid. I feel alive. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Maverick Boat Group. Makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water, since 1958. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. And Garmin, join the club. The Tarpon Wrecking Show. Yes. Heaven. This is how we do it, do it. Heaven. Heaven. Look at them rolling all around us. Okay. We got another big school past us out Whoa. there. Whoa. Yeah, I see him. It's nice, Hag. Oh, he's getting done. I'm going to think I go. Spot like it. Anchor lock. Yep. When, if they want to book a trip to come to Boca Grande and fish with you or Jamie or Danny Latham, any of the guys that work out of here, Corey. Let me ask you, when should they be calling you? January. We book up really quick here. So they can And there's about 10 guys that I'm comfortable putting any of my clients with. Yeah. That are great at what they do here. They're unbelievable tarpon fishermen. And there's about 10 of them that know how to do it year round. Yeah. They can even call you in November, December if they want to yeah. book early. Yeah. Good. I have a. Uh, I have one client that takes most of my Saturday throughout the harping season. Uh -huh. So the weekend, the Saturdays are pretty tough on me. Pull to the right. You're getting new guys in. Pull to the right, the other right. Now he's, he's doing that turn. There, there he is. Go. Nice little head shake. Button hook. Look at that, that's so pretty. Might get to get your hands on them on the next one. Yeah. He just dying, dying. Just, just destroyed my coasters. <laughs> Come here, Bubby. Look at that. Now, get you? you? No, I turned my head. You know, I was filming all those films with Stu right. early in my early career in the 90s. 
it was every single time they would just destroy my glasses and he just thought that was the funniest <laughs> thing ever come in buddy come on. nice come out come on Beautiful. Golden tarpon. It's amazing after all that, they still got enough to give you a little bit of gumption at the side of the boat. Yep. So pretty. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Beautiful. Fish. Nice job, Hag. Oh, yeah. Best sound in the world. He's ready. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Oh, that's awesome. That's so good to see you doing your craft. I love it. Tell you what, it's still doing this over 25 years, and there ain't nothing like it yet. Still love it. Every time that fish comes up and jumps, or you watch him suck down a bait, that last bait when he came up and just yep. still gets me shaking. I don't know how many of those I've caught. Still gets me. The morning bite is done, so you know what that means, lunch. And the guys will be back on the water for another afternoon adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.